One thing the doctor did not tell you when he told you you needed to take D3 that could be putting you at risk. Now we know that we need to take our D3 in order to keep our immunity up and especially if you're in a place where you don't get a lot of sunshine like us up here in Canada, especially Northern Ontario, but in order for that D, vitamin D to be properly absorbed into the body, especially if you are over 50, you absolutely need to be taking vitamin K2 along with that vitamin D3. If you don't, what happens is that your calcium will build up in your blood and you'll get a calcification of your blood instead of directing that calcium to go to your bones where you really want it to go. Check your multivitamins if you're depending on your vitamin D in your multivitamin to make sure there's K2 in them as well. Now, the thing with K2 is you only need 100 to 200 micrograms regardless how much vitamin D you're taking, whether it's 500 or 10,000, 100 micrograms will be sufficient for you. So remember, D3 needs to be coupled with your K2 in order to help your bones and to keep your arteries safe.